Oi, 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 oi. Hello, world. So, if you remember in my last video, I had shown the slow feeder ball. This is the Kibble Nibble. No, 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 no. This is the Busy Buddy Kibble Nibble dog toy. So, it's a slow feeder that um, just you put the food inside it and the dog has to roll the ball around until the food comes out and it just helps them eat a little bit slower. I'm trying to get Lily to lose weight and we've been using this um, to help her slow down her eating because she eats really, really fast. Anyways, so I had showed this in my last video. We will not be using it anymore because guess what? Last night as she was playing with us, she got her jaw stuck inside one of these holes. There's a hole on the bottom and then there's a hole on the top. And um, it was stuck so good that we could not get it out at home. And we had to run her to the vet and the vet couldn't get it out without sedating her. So they had to sedate her and then they even used like a dental tool to help um, chisel away at some of this really hard plastic. And that was the only way they could get it off. So I'm just sharing this video as a forewarning. If you have the Busy Buddy Kibble Nibble dog toy, just be careful. I mean, it was probably a freak occurrence that Lily even got her jaw stuck in it. I was shocked because, I mean, that hole is not that big. I wouldn't even have thought that she would be able to fit her jaw in there, let alone it gets stuck. Yeah, that's where they cut away at it. Um, so I was shocked and it scared the crap out of me when this thing got stuck on her. We have had nine Chihuahuas and one German Shepherd throughout my entire lifespan so far and nothing like this has ever happened. There's been nothing stuck to anybody until now and this ball comes in two different sizes so Lily is, well, she's 12 pounds, so they have a small version, and that is for dogs under 20 pounds, and then they have like a medium-large version of this, and that's for dogs that are over 20 pounds. So we got the small, and I will show you some pictures. I didn't take any video because I was too freaked out at the moment last night to even consider and think about videoing her with this thing stuck to her. I was just more frantic and worried about getting her to the vet. But I'll show you some pictures right now. Alright, so this is our car ride to the vet. My mom was driving, so I was able to try to snap a few photos. This one unfortunately came out a little bit blurry, but you can kind of see how her poor little jaw is stuck inside the thing. My pretty baby. It just sucked. She did so well with it too. She didn't start freaking out until like halfway through the car ride. Just getting uncomfortable. And then we finally got a better picture when we got to the vet. But luckily the vet sees this kind of stuff all the time so like they weren't shocked or worried. They were totally confident that they could get the thing off. Thank God. <laughs> um, so it didn't take them long at all. Once we got there, they knew they knew what to do. And now, here is Lily this morning. Hey, baby girl. You had a rough night, didn't you? Yeah. So, yeah. We got her home last night and she was just a little loopy from the sedation, so we just chilled the rest of the night. And she is feeling so much better today. So yeah, just a forewarning, if you guys do use it, I know um, my dog trainer said she actually uses that ball with um, two of her bigger dogs. And she said she's never heard of anything like this happening before, but I'm just going to forewarn everyone just in case, because... It sucked, and I don't really want anybody else to go through that either. Alright, so we will see you next week with a little bit, hopefully, more uplifting content. <laughs> Goodbye, and thanks for watching.